Hey guys, and welcome back. So about almost eight months ago now, we did a reseal of the RV roof using Flex Seal rubber liquid. And we got a lot of questions on the video, a lot of people that were gonna want to see updates and check-ins with how everything's been going. So we had a really heavy rain a few nights ago and figured originally we were planning to do a six month check-in and we just missed it. So. We're now at almost eight months and gonna walk the roof, do a check-in of how the Flex Seal is holding so up. One of the things I had wanted to do when we did the reseal was show how easy it is to clean, but because the rain was so heavy, it actually cleaned a lot of the roof for us. So we're not gonna do a full clean this time, but they did bring up some cleaner just to show how easy it is to spray and wipe down. And also for certain spots, if we needed to check anything closer. You can see dirty, clean, it cleaned up super easily. And at the one year we'll do the full clean, but we don't wanna do that today. So just a quick spot clean. And really if you just had soap, water and a brush, you could wipe this down within a few minutes. All right, here's the spot we easily cleaned with, um, with just some cleaner and a wet rag. So that tells me we could easily clean it with a brush and soap. So, you know, as for the cleaning and care of the flex seal, that's all good. Um, walking the roof, you can see, you know, you can see the dirt and whatever, but not really seeing any places where it's peeling or anything like that. You can see all these, it's just basically as we painted it six months ago, just dirty. We have a spot, we had a tear right here. You can see it's kind of bulged up and it's not, um, cut you know it's holding very strong on the sides here's the front of it it's coming up to the front just trying to show you exactly what it looks like you can see where the AC water leaks it it pushes out that way run, the water runs out that way um, up here on the front get a close-in view here we painted over all the screws and all this where all the old the screws tie in and um, the caulking is we just painted over that you can see the flex seal isn't coming up or it's not peeling so so far so good on um, you know 99% of it there is one little spot that we found that is peeled up which I will show that to you in a minute but here is the slide overall it looks pretty good here's a close-up version of the slide you can see you know, it's still nice and tight where we painted down to over the screws here. It's not peeling or anything. It's not peeling on the roof. It's very tight. So far, so happy with it. We painted here. This is where the where they where they uh, tape it and tie it and make sure it's waterproof and just paint it over that. And there's this is all sealed. There's no leaking or anything. It's all very tight. It's not coming up. So that was my biggest concern. This thing peeling. Um, so, uh, so far so good. If you looked at the original video, we had our antenna and I showed the antenna and there was a bunch of scrapes and stuff down through here. This has all been, you know, resealed with the flex seal and, you know, none of those, you can not, you can't tell where the cuts and scrapes are, um, in the membrane or anything. The flex seal is all holding up. So happy with it. And here's slide number two. Again, all holding up really well. We were somewhat worried with the slides because we didn't know with the scraping as it goes in and out, but nope, everything is held up really well. No peeling. All looks the same as the day we did it. Like you said, 99% of it's great. The roof reseal has done really well. We've had a lot of rain, no leaks, even on the heavy spots. We did have one tiny little spot that, whether it got scraped by a branch or something, it did peel up, but it's just this one little spot. And we kept half of one of the cans of Flex Seal. So we're gonna just patch it real quick and that should be fine. Because we did just clean it, we're going to wait for it to dry a little bit before we apply the Flex Seal because you want to make sure that everything is completely dry so that the Flex Seal bonds well with the roof. And this particular can was from the original Reseal, which was, like I said, almost eight months ago. And 
everything in there is still in really good condition. It's not dried up at all. And so we're gonna apply that as soon as the roof dries. And one of the reasons this actually may have happened was because we were not super careful about it being completely dry before we did this section of the roof. We are near the AC, so we had left this running the day we did the reseal as long as possible. <clears throat> and then when we turned it off so that, you can see here, the AC is dripping. So when we turned it off the day we did the initial reseal, we thought we'd given it enough time for the whole backside of the roof to be dry, but we may not have been careful enough, and that's what caused this. So. We're just gonna make sure it's completely dry before we cover it up. After waiting a sufficient amount of time for it to dry, we just covered up that one little spot with a splash of paint. He did a couple good swipes and then went in for just one more little coat so that it was well protected and we knew everything was gonna be smoothed down and safe. There we are, it's all patched up. And we're overall very, very satisfied with our roof reseal. We will check back in at the one year mark, maybe plus a month or two because, you know, I can never get my ish together to always get it right on time. Say bye to the wife. <laughs> Goodbye for now. If you found this video helpful, we would love it if you would give it a big thumbs up and click subscribe. Thanks and enjoy the journey.